Oh no! guys welcome on back to tk's garage and today i am actually here at auto nation nissan in las vegas and i wanted to see what they would offer me on my 2012 bmw x5 diesel now i had i'd seen multiple things where people were saying they went to try to sell them their car and they were claiming that things were wrong with the vehicle when they weren't you can see greta right there well, we went ahead and uh, I brought it here and we got to the appraisal and two things happened when the guy got back. He immediately said, cause here's the thing, I already have a Kelly Blue Book offer on the truck. I know what the truck's worth and what I can guarantee get for it. So I get a, uh, he says, the power steering is a little stiff. And I was like, have you ever driven a, a BMW X5 before? Google it. It's common. It's harder to turn. It's so you don't flip the car at highway speeds. It's normal. And then he says, um, I noticed a little rattle when I got on the accelerator. And I was like, have you ever driven a diesel? If you don't know, like diesels make a little noise when you get on the gas. They have a little, they call it diesel -y. Da -da 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 -da. Whatever, right? Um... He didn't even know what kind of fuel that the vehicle took. And he's the guy that's writing the appraisal. We'll see, we'll see what the final numbers are. We'll come back and I'll give you guys my honest review on uh, Auto Nation Nissan here in Las Vegas. All right, so we're back. They came back actually with a really decent offer um, money wise, but then they came back, you know, we have the title, we have the information. I don't know who works in their business office, but I don't think they're smart. Again, it is auto nation, so take that for what it is. What I found interesting was they, they basically said with an Oklahoma title, there has to be a release of security interest. And I was like, there's no lien on the vehicle. It's owned. I literally had to do legwork for them and pull up stuff from uh, the state of Oklahoma so they could see the um, how the titles actually work in that state. And you think they would do that before they come out and try to talk to a customer. It just seems not great. All right, guys, so let's finish up. So final offer that I got here from Auto Nation Nissan, which wasn't bad was um eight thousand two hundred dollars is what they wanted to offer me on the truck not horrible really wasn't bad but um uh, they're inexperienced to understand how titles and stuff work and from the different states really looks bad um and you know, am I looking to sell the X5? Obviously, yes. But here's the issue. I'm not going to sell it to somebody who's inexperienced. And one of the things that I can... Look, if I sell my... If you sell a car to a person in public, right? A private party sale. Sorry, guys. If you sell a vehicle and it's a private party sale, when you do that, they pay you cash or cashier's check on the spot. You sign the title, you turn it over. These guys at Auto Nation are like, sign the title over to us. We will get the title transferred. And then once we have the title transferred uh, over to us, we can write you a check in like two or three days. Fuck out of here. I've never heard anything like that in my life. So this is a big warning. I don't want to say a scam alert, but that is a huge huge red flag for me i mean massively huge red flag i've never heard of anything like that in my life so um there you have it 
uh, this is not a super long video, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Yes, Greta is still in the building. I haven't sold it yet, um, but I am looking at selling it because having the 3500 Silverado, which I don't think you guys have seen by the time of me publishing this video, but you will, it's in order. I have videos in queue. Um, you guys will get to see it. Now, also, I've shot a bunch of these videos in advance. I know people are going to be like, Wait, the timeline's all over the place, but um, I'm traveling, and most likely by the time you guys uh, are seeing this video, I'm either on my way to Qatar or, all the, or on or back in Qatar again for work, so it is what it is. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Uh, like I said, just in my opinion from what I've what I just saw as a from the inspection or the appraisal of the car okay from the inspection and appraisal of the vehicle to how they handled it and were trying to deal with documents and stuff wow i can see why auto nation has such a bad rap of dealing with customers and then the sign the title over to us we'll give you a check in a few days negative ghost rider that's not happening so you've been warned if you're going to sell a vehicle even if they try to offer you a really nice offer on it it's just not kosher it's not halal it doesn't smell good you know what i'm saying there's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one.